Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever speed build on The Sims 4. I know this is something that I don't normally do, but if you watched my Create a Sim, which I will link down below, then you know that this is something that I've been interested in for a really long time. I've been playing Sims since it first came out and one thing that I started recently was building. And I like to think that I'm a pretty good builder myself, but you can be the judge by watching this video. I decided to go for kind of like an open space modern industrial home for this one it's two bedrooms with a like vaulted ceiling for the living room it's so fun I love it but I just thought that I would do this for you guys it took me a while to start doing these videos because for The Sims 4 you're supposed to have a 64-bit processor um, in order to have enough memory and I only had 32 and sorry for the nerdage for a little bit but if you have a 32-bit processor then only four gigabytes of memory um, will be run on your hard drive and it'll be unusable memory so <laughs> it's just a really nerdy thing I'm a little bit of a nerd but it's okay so I by myself by the way upgraded my desktop computer to a um, 64 bit and it was the easiest thing ever. I don't know why people spend $150 on it. But anyway, like I said, this has a vaulted ceiling and I wanted it to be very, very open. And the reason why I call it industrial is because I feel like it has that color scheme, like the light brown, dark brown, black, white. I absolutely love those colors and I'm horrible at ceilings, so I decided to make it a modern. Um, but as you can see, it's a beautiful home. Like I would die to have this house in person. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the stairs, I wanted to do kind of like a huge staircase that goes into an open room. Right now, this room is closed and I was gonna start it off as a bedroom, but I decided to just use it as like a little bit of a, an open study, like a lofted study. But I have learned a lot of tips and tricks on how to build um, like houses on The Sims 4 through YouTube tutorials as well. But if you guys are interested in me doing any type of video where I explain how I build things, um, what's the process, and little like tips and tricks of certain keys and, um, you know, cheats, I guess, for building. But I always like to start off with the outside first and then I add the windows and then I add the lights and then the doors on the inside because I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I prefer to see the outside first. Um, and then I move on to kind of decorating and building rooms on the inside. I don't know why, it's just how I do it. Like I didn't know there was gonna be a bathroom there until I, I decided to put it, you know? And the doors are always a huge situation for me. I feel like there's so many things that could be added to The Sims that haven't been added yet. Like beautiful doors or um, certain types of stairs or certain, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of the section, like counters for instance, Ugh, counters are so hard. Um, but I mean, I feel like working on the exterior um, in is the best way to go. That's just one of my tips because then you can place furniture um, by windows and everything because that's basically how you know people place furniture anyways because of the form of, of how the house looks because the house is built obviously. You see where I'm going with that? So here I decided to add a bit of stonework in the front like as a pathway. Here I left it gray but I decided to change it to stone last minute but now that I'm looking at it again I might change it back. I like the stone. It's very, I mean not the stone, just the cement. It's very um, simplistic but I had a lot of issues with the front door. I wanted it to be close to the side of the house like to that other little portion but not too far so I decided to just move it one block to the side which was very simple and here I started with the interior kitchen just so you know this is my first time filming so I accidentally made my record and stop button um, buttons that I use for cheats accidentally so there's a bit cut off right here which I'm sorry about but you guys get the gist you know and later on I'm going to show a little bit of a walkthrough of what the whole house looks like um, so I, I changed the keys now so that won't happen again just a little bit of a rookie mistake so you miss the whole um, living room situation but for the most part it's very very simple um, I just chose a bit of the more um, like rustic industrial um, 
like brown leather wood items. See, I changed I changed things around a lot too because as you go on, you notice what fits better. And I also like to add bits of colors everywhere, even though it is more of like a hardware, a metal, wood kind of thing. I don't know, I like to, to change it up a bit. And here in this room, I had so much difficulty mastering because it is, as you see, a long room and then there's just an open plan to the bathroom. Working in real estate when I did in Beverly Hills, I just saw so many like open floor plans when it came to bathrooms and how they just like flowed easily to the bedroom. So I wanted to make something similar, but as you can see, it takes a lot of work for me to do it. I move things around, I take things out, and what I ended up with, I really love. So I'm happy that it, it took a process for me to do it, but I ended up putting the closet closer to the bathroom. As you see here, I always add a wall around those closets so you could hide it and then I switch everything around to where the bed is on the other side and I was thinking instead of a um, like wardrobe right there I wanted to do a fireplace I think that would be so much cooler so I might go back and change it and if you guys want to download this and do that too you can I'm gonna try to put the link down below I don't know how to put um, downloadable content in a link form I'll figure it all out but you guys can do it um, <laughs> so I even tried putting a hot tub like there's so many different things that I try to do here and this process too I really like to do because in homes too I always see that the bathtub or the um, the shower and the toilet are separated from where people get ready just in case so I experimented a lot with counters here and then I was like wait I don't think my bathroom needs counters I think that's stupid so I took that all out and I tried to form everything around the sink and the mirrors instead um, so I started adding shelves and you can just see the whole process I think it's really cool that you guys are able to see this and of course I added a little tub right there and decorations can be a little bit difficult even though I love the kind of like clutter that The Sims has. Um, some can be difficult because some of them don't fit on shelves, some of them don't fit on counters, and you have to use certain cheats. Like if you want to rise items up from the floor, you actually have to press the nine button on your keypad. Um, not the not the keypad, I'm sorry, just the regular numbers on the keyboard, not the keypad. And then if you want to lower it, you press zero, and then like the bracket makes it bigger. So there's so many different sheets, and I again will make a video if you guys want to see it. But um, yeah, counters are so annoying for me. But here, as you can see, I change everything around multiple times. But I just love the simplistic stuff, so I liked adding wall mirrors instead of like huge ones on on the ceiling um, and then I only added a smaller rug instead of a huge aerial rug and then just little things here and there is is what I like to add in homes I don't like it to be too cluttered oh and this light I was so happy that this worked out because it kind of matches with everything um, with the darker colors so now I absolutely adore it with homes have huge photos above their staircases so I wanted to do a little something there and I love that you can like look inside the house and see it so I again added a huge light over there um, and here this is where I started doing the second bedroom at first because there was originally gonna be three bedrooms or two bedrooms and a study but then I was like this just isn't working out so I deleted all the walls moved all that stuff to the second bedroom and created a lofted area and I just want it to be kind of like a study with a bookshelf a seating area um, and like a computer and everything so um, as you see here, I start the second bedroom, and I just love the little chairs at the end of the beds. I can't believe I've been talking for nine minutes. This is so awesome. This is why I also have a podcast, because I can talk forever. So if you guys want to listen to my podcast, which is nothing about Sims, you can go down below. BT dubs, love the um, black brick that I did behind the toilet. I just think that it meshes very, very well together. Um, I didn't want any of the colors to be like randomly colored like normal houses do or not normal houses like most houses do um, So I just wanted to add a little pinch of, of some texture and here is the laundry room I recently purchased the laundry pack and I am in love with it. I absolutely love it I am an absolute clean freak like I'm a Monica Okay, so having something where the sims can just clean even more and like do this just it gives me like 
the biggest oh I'm not gonna say that word I was gonna say boner oh okay I said it anyway geez but it does I love it and there's so many cleaning supplies now and there's so much more clutter I love those like rugs the wicker furniture it's amazing and see I'm so excited because now I can start doing like um, reviews for packs but here is a half bathroom that I wanted to add um, I just think it's perfect placement right behind the stairs and it's very central and then now I am going to start am I gonna start it am I gonna start it oh there it is I'm gonna start it here um I love this huge round table but it sucks that you can't put four chairs on it it makes me so sad so I went back to this little square table and added my four chairs I just wanted a little dining area and I didn't want this section to be completely blank. And I always love just doing scattered frames and artwork on a wall. I think it just adds a little bit of like personality. So here I start with the lofted area. So I added a few bookshelves and then I took one out because it didn't fit. And I added this little chair right there, which I think would work perfect. And as you see here, I tried to do a lot of different things like make a bookcase wall, but I didn't want it to be closed off. I wanted it to flow with that open um, space above the, above the living room, the vaulted space. Oh gosh, rugs are another thing that I just am horrible at. So I just added this random artsy one in front of the bookcase. I wish there was a darker color for that bookcase. There's a darker brown, but there isn't like a, a black brown that matches all my windows. So I had to go with the lighter color, which is fine. And then here is the fourth bathroom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love adding um, a tub with shelves above it and then plants and candles. I just think it gives it more of like a spa sauna look. Oh, and here I started experimenting a little bit because I wanted to make it look a little bit more industrial. So I loved that big pillar, but I just, I didn't keep it. I don't know why. I wish I kept the bigger one, but I ended up changing it for an even smaller one than the one that's here. Um, but I just felt like it was less crowded. I don't know. So now I'm moving on to the bedroom again, making it a little bit more um, decorated, you know, adding paintings. I'm gonna add a mirror right there. And I'm actually gonna move it around, I believe. Uh, that's not gonna stay. Let's see, what am I gonna do again? Oh yeah, I moved that around and then I added a paint, a little painting thing. Oh, and then I added a little shelf right there. I made it like really crowded, but I like how that looks. I don't know. Let me know if, if you agree. I love the crowded look. It's so weird, but it makes it feel more homey. Oh, and here I, I tried to do like a cascading light, but uh, didn't really work out like I wanted it to. So I ended up changing the lights entirely and I went with this huge one for the vaulted ceiling. I love it. And then, I don't know, I absolutely love this build. There you go, that's when I changed the pillars and I added one on the bottom, that's why I did it. So now I'm working on the outside, which by the way, from now on, if I ever decorate an outdoor area, I am only going to use the laundry pack because it is absolutely brilliant. I love the things, but I added a little patio, like furniture area with the fire. I added some lights cause it gets pretty dark. Changed some windows around and oh my gosh, guys. Is this it? Oh no, my final thing is I, I added more landscaping. So this is what I do at the end. At the end, I look at the place as a whole and then I'll add more arrangements like um, bushes, rocks, all that kind of jazz, add some decorations and add my dirt. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. I mean, I had a lot of fun, not only filming, but doing the voiceover and building the whole thing. The whole thing I think took me about two and a half hours and I paused a little bit in between. So it wasn't too bad. But um, let me know if you guys love it, if you guys are interested in watching any more videos like this. But wait, guys, we're going to do a little slow-mo, little walkthrough of the home. Are you ready? Ooh, look at this. Imagine living here. Like my sim or whatever sim that is going to use this is amazing. Like they are going to have an amazing house and they're going to love it and they're going to be constantly happy. Like look at this. Look at how beautiful. I'm tooting my own horn, guys. Toot fucking toot. Uh, but if you guys are interested in finding this, I will put my origin name or what is it called? My gallery name on the screen. It's Beauty Zombie, my old name. I'm keeping it. I love it. Look at how cool this laundry room looks. Oh my God, I love it. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to do. I can't even begin to say it. So let me know down below what kind of house you guys want to see next. Um, if you are even interested in these types of videos, because I could watch these videos for hours. My favorite YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers right now is Della Grissi. I think she's so adorable. I love her voice. Her voice just makes me so happy. She's from Australia. And I got a lot of inspiration and oh, look at that bush I messed up right there. Sorry about that if you guys see that um, when you download it. But I get a lot of my inspiration from her. She has taught me a lot. Her and Sim Supply. Uh, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'll link them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching my first ever speed build. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye. That was a good freaking outro. <laughs>